Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said. What's the nerdiest thing I ever did? I once wrote down every single number that I remembered. Every single number that had meaning. So I wrote down pi to all the digits that I knew. I happened to, don't tell anybody, but I happened to know the fifth root of 100 to 12 decimal places, okay? Don't tell anybody that, because that's just too weird. So zip codes I'd remembered for people who lived in those zip codes. Phone numbers, back when we used to have to remember a phone number. So it filled two sides of a sheet of paper. I probably still have that sheet of paper. It's every number that I remembered. And I looked at it and I said, why did I do that? <laughs> Another thing I did once is I spent what amounted to somewhere between 30 and 50 hours solving the Rubik's Cube for the first time. Why would I do that? You know, foregoing personal hygiene and food and I was in graduate school at the time, foregoing studying for my next midterm exams. That's what I did. By the way, I also, in, in high school, I, I, was, I wrestled. I was captain of my wrestling team. And to be a geek and be a wrestler, you know, every kid, surely every boy, I don't know if it's as common with girls, but boys were exposed to comics and stories. At some point in our lives, we want to be a superhero, right? This is like career options for us, below a certain age. And I imagined, because I knew how to wrestle, I, I, self-defense and all this, that I could be geek man. And I would fly around the world protecting geeks from the bullies out there, from the football quarterback and all the ones who would give us wedgies and the ones who would make fun of us and call us four eyes and I would be the defender of the geek honor. And that was at a time before geeks were, were cherished in society. Nowadays, everybody needs a geek within arm's reach because they need him to fix their computer. Right? So the geek culture has risen up as is manifest by the number of attendees at Comic-Con an uncountable number of hundreds of thousands of people descend on Comic-Con. And it is quite the celebration of that community. So I'm card carrying, just back up when I pull out my, my geek card, because I'm there with you. 